the Ottawa Red Blacks want to right the ship and regain some pride, even if they have to sit last season's most outstanding player to do it. First-year Red Black Trevor Harris will start in place of star veteran Henry Burris when the Red Blacks play host to the BC Lions Thursday night. After starting the season with two wins, Ottawa won just two of the next six games and suffered a 43-19 blowout loss to a Montreal Alouettes on Friday. Compounding the Red Blacks' woes is the team's mediocre 1-1 -one record at home. We have one win at home and obviously could have beaten Calgary here but it ended up in a tight. We got our butts kicked last week which never makes you feel good, Red Blacks coach Rick Campbell said. We need to make sure we play good football and keep things positive and good things will happen for us. The Red Blacks signed Harris in the offseason as insurance for the 41-year-old Burris, and he is paid off when healthy. When Burris injured his finger in Ottawa's opener in Edmonton, Harris came in midway through the third quarter of that game and threw for 292 yards and three touchdowns in an overtime win. Harris threw three more touchdowns in a win over Montreal the following week and three more the next week in the tight with Calgary. Another win in Toronto on July 13 was followed with the Red Blacks' first loss of the season in Regina, and the loss of Harris with a knee and ankle injury. It's brutal. You're in such a rhythm, the team's playing well and then boom, one hit one twist of the knee and you're out, Harris said. Burris returned on just three days practice and was rusty in a loss to Toronto, but was better the following week in a win over the Eskimos, the Red Blacks' lone home win of the season. After a bye week the Red Blacks got mauled by the Alex and are looking to avoid the same fate against the Lions. You always want to get out there and make amends for what happened. I missed some throws. And when you come off a dismal team performance like that, and knowing that you can play better individually, you want to bounce back and help the team, Burris said. The switch at quarter that isn't being seen as a knock against Burris, who said that the injury to the pinky finger on his throwing hand isn't fully healed. He said throwing isn't as comfortable as it should be and that the ball doesn't come out of his hand right. This is an opportunity to get my finger even that much healthier so when I am needed at any given moment I'll be able to go out there and feel comfortable and confident in throwing the ball, he said. In the meantime Burris will be another set of eyes for Harris and the offense as he patrols the sidelines. I'll be able to look at some tendencies as far as what BC is doing and maybe pick up on some mismatches and to give good advice on situations to Trevor. I'll just be using my knowledge to help Trevor and the offense and that will help me stay into the game. Harris said his goal is to get back to the same level of success he was enjoying before going down with an injury. The next snap he takes will be his first in 34 days. It's not about me it's about getting our team back in the winning column. If we beat ourselves that's the big problem so we have to go out and put our best foot forward, said Harris, adding it's a huge advantage to have Burris on his side. He's an icon in this league and so recognizable. It's awesome that he's behind me and he's helping me and it's awesome that the coach has faith in me. I'm just looking to go out there and execute for our guys. The Red Blacks will also welcome back running back Travin Van who has been sidelined with a knee injury since the second game of the season.